What about you folks? Another exciting video. Uh, day six of Project Alice and, oops, sorry, blocking the camera with my hands. And this will be possibly my last day for a few days. So I wanted to update you all as best as possible. Um, I'm having grinding fun left, right and center. Um, I'm going to publicly shame myself about something here and I want people to see this. Uh, years and years and years ago, and I am talking a very, very long time ago, it must be going on to, must be going on to seven years now. I decided that for the ZTT, it needed yellow brake calipers. And the day I decided to do it was the day before, technically it was about three in the morning, uh, before a big car show and uh, I just had my alloy wheels refurbished so I decided let's get crazy with the yellow paint and I am reaping the rewards of it now because I'm cleaning up my calipers and carriers and um, frankly they're completely fucked no other words for it and I, I you know what I said to Mark, I says, uh, I think I need to show people just how mad a mess of this I made. And I'm a man of my word. So, this was one that I have cleaned down from earlier. This is a rear vented caliper. Um, this actually, unfortunately, is going to be a, a, my, there's quite a few calipers I'm going to send away to get completely refurbished, um, rebuilt and powder coated. I'm probably going to get these actually uh, vapor blasted. Um, but this, is the mess that I had created created for myself and I mean these obviously are not in great condition and um, this is a shameful moment I have to admit but you know what you have to be able to admit your mistakes that was something I did a long time ago and then it didn't turn out well and you can actually see the thickness of the paint of how much I threw onto the car um, whenever it all went horribly wrong. So it ended up with, it went from, you can actually see it, it went from uh, red calipers to black calipers to yellow calipers to black calipers. And it's just absolutely, they're a mess, they're a disgrace. And um, unfortunately, like I mean, you can see the rubbers are gone on them. So I had started cleaning them up and I discovered just how bad the rubbers were. So, bad problems. However, because Colin is a bit of a hoarder, I do have spare calipers, uh, spare 190 calipers vented front and rear. So I'm um, going to give them a wee clean up here in a minute. Um, that's It <laughs> really pissed me off because I spent ages, absolutely bucking ages, cleaning this one up. Um, got all the bits and pieces all sitting nice and pretty. I'm not going to paint them for now and um, discovered the rubbers were clean, skay rude. But I did get the bleed nipples out, so that was always a nice wee bonus. Um, unfortunately, one of my 190 calipers, before I even started working on it, um, I got the old, uh, oh yes, bleed nipple broken scent situation. So uh, that's the front one, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, maybe see if I can get lucky. Um, I saw a kit there on eBay for drilling into and screwing out. So, uh, we'll just see. But anyway, <coughs> sorry, choking here. Uh, don't worry, it's not COVID. It's just me being a clown. Where are we today? Well, I haven't been so great today, to be completely honest. Um, I haven't got a huge amount done. Uh, kind of been struggling today. Um, stress has kind of got to me. And I'd, I'd say it probably showed as Mark probably saw me today. So what we do have, we have a few more bits and pieces done in the engine. The uh, stainless steel coolant pipes. I have the uh, washer jet tank. It is currently sitting in uh, fluid to clean it out. It had a bit of slime and lime on it. But um, with regards to the rear of the car, well, oh, we're actually getting on pretty decent. I'm gonna switch the light on here. Can I switch the light on? Yes. Um, so, what have we got done? Well, truth be told, this is more Mark, Mark has got done. I've only really helped out a little bit here. That's the entire rear end uh, assembled. 
Um, we got a fuel tank. Um, I went and got that on Sunday night after my university class. This is the original one. Um, we got another original one um, from a currently running car. And by currently running, I mean it is it was currently running up until the tank came out of it. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, you may be wondering why some of the black underneath looks more satin than it was before. It's because the whole area where above the fuel tank has been um, uh, wax oiled and you have to forgive this, there is a, quite a bit of dirt here um, underneath this because it's just been sitting around in the uh, on the ground here because um, I haven't had a chance to brush up. So yes, uh, rear end, rear end is saddled. I'll go back around here. So as we can see, uh, powder coated rear end, blah, blah, blah. I am still using the shocks and I am still using the springs original. Have used the hubs because, oh, was losing focus there. The heck is happening here? Um, I'm using the hubs, um, but new bolts and bushes, etc., etc. New upper arms, new trailing arms. ABS sensors are go, good to go. Um, the rear poly bushes, uh, new brackets, etc., etc. New bolts, new uh, everything, everything <laughs> um, where possible. Um, so what else we're we looking at here? Uh, a few other additional pipes and things that got renewed. All new brake lines. Hold on. Uh, I know you just won't be able to see. Brake lines underneath the fuel tank routed correctly and they come to just, hold on, they come to just there so they will be joined on to the existing brake lines. So that's a good thing. Uh, hold on. Um, the handbrake cables just require a little bit of correct mounting here just due to a few other brackets that are still waiting to get painted. But yeah, basically that's the rear end sorted out now. Um, at the minute, I'm fixing a problem that I created myself. Uh, these are my MTEC discs. J-hook for track day and racing specification. Um, bought these as a group buy that I'd arranged in Northern Ireland a while ago. And at the time I thought, oh, they'll be going on to a different car. So I didn't bother with coding. So I left them sitting, and where do you see this? Yep, that's what happens when you leave things sitting inside the Z, this was inside the ZTT, in the bags with the oil still on them. So that'd be a lesson to anyone. Um, if you're buying brake discs, don't leave them lying around for God's sake. Fit them or set them on your side and get them at a later date. To be fair, I, I got a smashing deal with the M-Tech brakes. Um, and in case anyone's wondering about the hooks, I have double checked and we've even checked here with the front discs, which I'm gonna have to clean up next as well. Uh, you see, the front discs seem to have correctly directional J's on them, um, but the rear ones, as we can see here, So if this is the rear of the car pointing that way, and the rear of the car pointing that way, so yeah, everything seems to be good that way. Um, I had seen some people say about them, the J's being in the wrong direction, but uh, thankfully my set is okay. Um, yeah, so wh what else are we at? Well, obviously there's the powder coated front end. This is it, folks. This is all that's left. Uh, fan is caught in customs. No other word for it. Um, radiator condenser still to go. Uh, front end bolts, pads, uh, steering arms, uh, new exhaust bushes, MTF 94, oil, etc. etc. We're still waiting on the exhaust gas that's coming. So we haven't got the down manifolds put on. This is all stuff that Mark's going to be doing tomorrow um, because I am back to work tomorrow, um, unfortunately. So it's a case of Mark's hoping to get things sorted. Uh, oh yes, got new um, gear linkages in as well. They, they proved to be a bit of a problem. 
Um, big thanks to Stevie Whiteside, my mate, for uh, getting me the linkages and getting me the fuel tank at incredibly short notice. Um, so, yep, they're all in and in place, etc, etc. So, yeah, that's that's where we're at for now. Um, I know the engine looks oily and greasy. It's just, it, it maybe one day I'll spend a bit of time on the ramp sorting it out. But that's where we are. That's what we're doing. Um, and I've got cavity oil, a cavity wax to throw throwing it in here tonight um quite a bit to do here before i go home so this is just a short little video get bring yourself up to speed um really really happy with the rear end the braided hoses obviously still have to go on it makes a big difference i am gonna obviously when i get time you know tidy up the trail and arm side of things they are poly bush not can you see it from down there yep Poly burst as well, and new trailing arm plates and all as well. So, I'm not gonna lie. There's every bolt here is just new. This there's so much fucking work. Pardon my French, but there really is. And I, I, I never would have got this done without Mark. So, thank you very much. Um, we're still nervous about this clutch. I think that's something I'm just gonna have to accept that it may last. 5,000 miles at late, may last 50,000 miles. Um, the Borg and Beck sil uh, slave cylinder, that's okay, but the actual clutch plate itself, well, you know. Uh, so, yeah, um, things that, as people were asking me about this, um, <laughs> I know this looks terrible, the backing plate of the, uh, <laughs> the front hub. Guys, look, don't stress about this for now. Um, I am planning to do suspension complete replacement hubs bearings and backing plates now you may think why don't you do it all at the same time here well i don't shit gold bricks and anyone who does shit gold bricks please give me a few because i would love to have a few gold bricks um this car is very much about a balance of trying to do things at the time so for now something like this you know that doesn't bother me that's okay that's because I know I'm going to take the springs and shocks top mounts out eventually here, um, I'll get them all changed at the same time. Uh, you know, who knows? It'll probably be when the clutch burns out after 500 miles anyway. Um, so yeah, basically that's where we are. That's what's going on. Um, I have so much grinding to sort out here. It's still it's unbelievable. But yeah, um, so there won't be an update from me. Hold on, turn the camera. Oh, big orange gloves. Ed China gloves. Hashtag Ed China. Um, so there won't be an update from me for a couple of days. So that's why I want to give everyone this little update now. Um, because I'm back to full-time work. And it's going to be Friday, realistically, before I'm back down here in the shed. Hopefully Mark has time to make a few videos. Um, he wants to get it off the ramp tomorrow. I don't want to jinx the guy, but I think it's possible. So that's why I'm staying here late. I'm staying here until everything else that I can do today to help the guy is going to be done. Um, Mark will be, this is, this, it's, it's like childbirth. This Mark is going to have the engine starting first time. All this fucking around and I've missed the engine going in and I'm going to miss the engine starting first time as well. Just, sad so it's like it really is like childbirth there's no other word for it so yeah so we'll do updates on that um and then basically folks we are nowhere near the end of project alice like i have booked an mot i didn't get the date i hoped for but it has given me some time um i need to review a few things i may need to review uh, the tires that I currently have on her, um, my lovely silver chrome powder coated uh, hairpins that I'd sold years ago, uh, the, sorry that I had done re uh, years ago, they were being sold and uh, to help contribute to pay towards the car and get it back on the road. 
So, yeah, I'm hoping Mr. MOT man takes one look at the car and says, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that you've done a good bit there. Off you go. But um, with the UK currently having had MOT extension, well, sorry, Northern Ireland, I don't know about the whole UK, we were having two years MOT extensions. I can't remember when this car last had an MOT. Um, about five years, I think. I can't remember when I brought the car off the road. I'll put it here. Um, was the date that the vehicle ran out of MOT. Um, so that would mean the date that has flashed up on screen minus a year was the last time it was in an MOT centre. Something makes me think it was 2016 was the last time it was in an MOT centre and 2017 when it ran out of MOT. <sighs> scary stuff, scary stuff. Um, I really have fallen back in love with the car. I'm really, really, I I'm so excited to be getting progress done on again. Um, I'm really, really happy. Um, there's, I've discovered a few silly, stupid niggles as I went along, like my old radio uh, double din unit. I mean, this is going back, like the double din unit is was in my first ever ZT, um, so that's 10, 11, 12 years, possibly, um, has fried itself. Um, it just is totally non-responsive. So um, a small thing, I know, but I'm probably going to get myself a double din at some stage. Maybe maybe that'll be a Christmas present for myself. I don't know. Wait and see. Um, yeah, so there's, there's just going to be loads of bits and pieces. So hopefully we get the car off the ramp this week. Mark thinks Tuesday, I personally think Wednesday. Um, the plan is to leave the front bumper off so that when the fan does arrive, I can just put the brand new fan on and um, then I can put the front bumper on. So fingers crossed, majority of the mechanical stuff has been sorted on the car that would ever have needed done. Um, like I said, I keep saying about the shock absorbers and the hubs, on the front, um, I, like I say, if I can get coilovers developed for these vehicles, this will be the car I put coilovers on to show everyone properly done ones. And if I don't, I've said to myself a cutoff point of August this year, and I will replace all the shock springs and top mounts with correct specification ones because this has the early, early sports suspension. So I want to replace it with the correct stuff assuming it's still available somewhere um and if not i'll figure something else out along the lines everyone thank you very much um bit of a bit of a video as you can see there's just it's just constant it's just constant it just never stops um like i say guys i want you know i can't even begin to thank mark sterling enough for the work he's put into this um i it's just it's unbelievable the stuff that he's got done in this car and um, you can see that I've got like sort of reverse panda eyes now so I look very pretty um, <laughs> and it's hilarious like you know I was struggling with a couple of pipes at the, at the front of the car today and I turned around and he had the rear subframe and all put in and I'm sitting there going okay mate I guess you do that a bit more often than I do so it just it shows you the difference between an amateur and a professional when it comes to time scale I'd say this, if I had been doing this myself, bar the time belts, God, this could have turned into a, a six month project, especially if I was doing it on the ground without a ramp. So yes, that's that's today's little update on Project Alice. Um, as always, folks, please, if you enjoy the video, comment, subscribe, give the videos a like. Um, I'm getting very, very close to a thousand YouTube subscribers. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it means a lot to me. Um, I know we've done the competition, about 1,500 YouTube subscribers. I'll maybe do a smaller competition for um, 1,000 YouTube subscribers, something something fun. Um, how about we give away, tell you what I'll do, I'll give away a Robson Rover Repair beanie hat um, to anyone once we hit 1,000 subscribers. So we'll pick a winner from my YouTube subscriber list and that person will get a beanie um, and I'll get that delivered to you. So I think that's 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 a nice wee present because I, th I, I think we're only 40 or 50 away from that. So 
like I say, share the channel with your friends and you might just win yourself something. Um, as always, folks, uh, I want to thank everyone who's continuing to buy the uh, Cancer Research key rings. Um, you have seen that I have reduced them. Um, I'm not even worried about covering my own costs anymore. I just want to make sure that the donations are there. So I've now I've brought them down from seven pound fifty to six pound fifty, and there's a free air freshener of your choice. And they have went quick over the weekend. We we're, we're down to ten. Um, there's a couple of folks from Germany have ordered them. Uh, a couple of folks from Austria, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And there's one has gone all the way to Japan, which I think is really really cool. And I am covering good whack of the worldwide postage as well. So like I say, the 325 is guaranteed from the Cancer Research key rings. Um, if you want to buy one of the Cancer Research key rings, they're up there. The link is there directly to my E2A shop. Um, I still have good selection of air fresheners there still, uh, if anyone wants. I still have a couple of the, um, what do you call it, the uh, four pack for four different smells. I actually thought that I would do them for eight pound delivered in the UK um, with only a little bit extra for global postage. So yeah, that's, um, if you want to buy a couple of air fresheners, go up there. The air fresheners go entirely to me. And that is what really helps sponsor the channel. That is what goes towards, you know, projects and things. Now I have a GoPro, I'll be buying myself. The next thing is a decent microphone setup. Um, and that's, you know, it's, it, the money I'm making from the channel doesn't go towards my vehicles. It goes towards better equipment so I can do more with the vehicles. Um, whenever I've got myself then a microphone, it'll be maybe uh, something else that'll help benefit the channel as well. Um, maybe like, you know, better website or whatever. But hey, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Take it easy, folks. It's going to be a long week for me. Um, I'm going to have to sit here and drink energy drinks like mad. Um, Monster has officially got me through this and we are still not done yet. Sugar free, obviously, because I'm trying to be a good healthy boy. Um, I also got queried a couple of videos about my combat trousers and where I've got them from. I actually get them from a gentleman who sells them on eBay in Australia. I'm going to put the link up here as well. Um, they are, he does men's, women's and children's. And if your other genders in between, they're, they are actually unisex. So like the w women's ones work for me because I have quite big thighs. And um, I'd like to say I have a massive unit down there that requires lots of space, but I know I just have big rugby player thighs from somehow being, it's the only part of my body that's that's massively ridiculously toned. <laughs> so uh, have a look there. Um, uh, I must see if you actually do so we discount code. If I can get a discount code, I'll uh, put the link up there um, or adjust it with the discount code, etc. But yeah, folks, thank you very much. Um, this is... Jesus, is this just day six or day seven? For me, it's day six um, of Project Alice, and we are getting close to the end. Um, I'm going to see if I can possibly film the MOT process. I don't think it's going to happen because of the way things are here in Northern Ireland. Um, I do have a few little points of concern. I'm pretty sure there's going to fail on... There's just a little bit of bubbling coming through here, which is a shame. Um... It just seems it's paint blister, but it's not actually rot, which is really annoying. It's catch twenty two. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to try and fix it. I'm going to try and tidy it up, and the MOT tester is going to take a look at it and go, "What's that all about?" Um, so yeah, but anyway, that's us. Everyone, thank you very much. Uh, I know we're a long way away from Project Alice being complete. Someone has asked me, "Will the car ever be complete?" Um, yes, it will be. It will be complete. In my eyes, whenever it's tax insured and MOT, everything from that point onwards will be either upgrades or, excuse me, upgrades or improvements. There's not really going to be too much in the way needed to upgrade the car, and there's not going to be too much in the way needing to improve the car. Um, she is, for example, on the inside, the full electric leather uh, ZTT interior. Um, it will need a headliner, so that's one thing I'm going to do. So I haven't made my mind up if I want to keep the interior completely original or to retrim the headliner 
add all the A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, D pillar bits and pieces that are um, the smokestone grey into maybe like a charcoal -y grey or a darker black. Um, I think the colour, the car doesn't really need too much because it is yellow. I don't want to go crazy. Um, but that'll be something that probably happens closer to the summer because the last thing I'm going to do is start pulling headliners out of this car over the winter. So yes, um, that's us for now. Thanks as always, folks, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, Mark says he might get a chance to do a couple of videos and bits and pieces if he gets the engine started tomorrow and gets it off the ramp. So he's probably going to get the first test drive in it as well. Fuck, just the way things are worked out. But that's life. Um, folks, I'll catch you in the next video. And uh, take it easy. Uh, hopefully I might even have a wash by the next time you see me and hopefully I might even be giving this a wash by the next time you see her. Cheers folks, thank you very much.